Perfection. The conditioned state or quality of being free from all flaws or defects. I think the actual definition should be a 10 letter word describing something that doesn't exist or prison, maybe straitjacket. See, perfection is a virus, a tumor, a growth. It infects the mind of who it attaches itself to until it eventually destroys the host. I hate the very word perfection. It has driven me crazy for years, guided by fear. I was constantly comparing myself to my peers, stressing and striving to reach some idea that only existed in here. Oh, you thought perfection was real? Well, I disagree. I mean, have you ever seen a perfect tree? In real life, have you ever gone into a forest and seen a perfect tree? Nah, see, they all got a little something going on. Some lean this way, some lean that way, some have a little too much moss, and some got a whole bunch of bark that's been ripped off, but somehow, they're all beautiful. But when it comes to people, we don't seem to see that we are all beautiful in all of our expressions, so we dissect ourselves into pieces, judging each other, thinking perfection is something we can achieve, which leads us to feeling depleted and defeated. But Salvador Dali said it best, have no fear of perfection because you'll never reach it. Ladies and gentlemen, there are two doors in life. Door number one, be perfect and be admired. Or door number two, be real and be loved. I say choose door number two and choose it quick because life's too short to try to live up to something that doesn't even exist. It makes no sense. So please create your own unique expression. Color outside the lines. Be the pretzel that refuses to not. Be the marble that doesn't quite roll right. Do the dance that nobody's ever seen before. And don't worry if people stop and stare. I mean, if the leaning tower of Pisa was straight, nobody would care. See, when mistakes are made, beauty is birthed. You know why they call it the Model T? Because that's how many letters it took for Henry Ford to get that darn car to work. So don't worry about always being first and getting it right. I mean, Sony's very first product they ever made, it cooked rice. So embrace your mistakes, they are to be savored. Failure is the condiment that gives success its flavor. And true success is being yourself in a world that's constantly trying to make you someone else. You know, I was reading the other day about a Japanese tradition called Kintsugi. What they do is, if an object breaks, they fill the cracks with pure gold. Because they believe that when something suffers damage and has a history, it is all the more beautiful. So I say love your cracks. You may call it brokenness, but it is the way your light will shine through. And if you have no one in your corner, then consider me your supporter and we will smile together as society tries to diagnose our gifts as disorders. You don't need to be a perfect person with perfect makeup, perfect skills, or a perfect build. Cause the truth is real people aren't perfect and perfect people aren't real.